Hello, my topic today is going to be on interoperability with Microsoft's Layout in Cell. So first we're going to look at what is Layout in Cell, what does it do. We're going to show some of the many inconsistencies related to the implementation of it, and then show how things have been fixed in LibreOffice 25.2, which is currently in development. Most of this presentation is just going to be looking at a Word document and then how it is laid out in LibreOffice. So on the left we have 24.8 and on the right we have the current master development 25.2 which is where most of the fixes are. So we'll be looking at this document and talking about floating shapes and how they are laid out inside of a cell. So currently it's just inline, but we want it to be a floating shape. And it is going to be limited to the table cell. And let's just say that it's going to be to the right of the page. So horizontally, you'll see, we see that it did not jump to the edge of the page, but only to the edge of the cell. So if we turn off layout in cell, then of course it jumps to the edge of the page and so we can see that layout in cell is basically forcing the object to stay inside of the cell itself. So let's take a look at what that looks like in LibreOffice. Previously 24.8 it looks fine and it's still fine in master. Okay, so instead of the page, we can also choose the page margin. So let's see where that jumps to when we're not layout in the cell. So it leaves the gap of the page margin and goes to the right side of that. We'll verify that that looks fine in LibreOffice. And it does. Okay, so what happens if we do a layout in the cell? Okay, so we can see that it jumps into the cell, uh, leaving the margin gap. And that has also been working in LibreOffice. Okay, so we can s we've now seen what layout in cell is doing. Basically, instead of the word page, we can substitute the word cell. So we can either go to the cell edge or the cell margin. We can also jump out a certain distance away from the cell. And surprisingly, we are allowed to jump outside of the cell, even though we were layout in cell. Okay, and so we've just seen one of our first exceptions. Um, things change quite a bit if we're allowed in cell or not, but we haven't been limited to the cell. And let's just verify that neighbor office handles that well. And it does. So one the reason that we have the exception is because we are using either behind text or in front of text. If we have one of the other type of wraps, then it is being forced inside of the cell. And so even though we're still trying to jump our 10 centimeters out, uh, we are being limited by the cell when we're not wrapped through. verify how that looks in LibreOffice. So LibreOffice as well is handling that just fine. Okay, so we've seen this first inconsistency where behind the text and in front of the text shapes can escape the cell boundaries. Another inconsistency is that ever since uh, Word 2013 format, layout in cell equals false actually means true. So true means true and false means true. Uh, for the last 10 years of 
like a soft word. And that's quite important because uh, the previous version was just now been end of life for four years. At the same time in 2020, LibreOffice 7.0 started natively or a writing compatibility mode 15 formats. And so that means that every document created in the last four years at least has been layout in cell equals true. And so it's important that we handle these layout in cell inconsistencies properly. Even before version 2013, false meant true if there's any character oriented positioning. So, so far we've been looking at pages and paragraph positioning, but you can also position based on a single character. As soon as you do that, um, layout in cell it means true. And there's also a lot of uh, vertical anomalies as well, so let's take a look at some of those. And we'll start by looking at one of the vertical anomalies. So let's uh, once again jump outside of the table without being layout in cell. And now let's use a character position. So based on the line that is attached to. Notice that as soon as I changed it to line, it turned layout and table cell on. We're trying to test off, and as soon as I turn it off, it forces it back to paragraph. So it seems line is associated with uh, layout and cell. If I just make it the top of the line, however, it does not force layout and cell. So let's just try that and yet we can see it has popped into the cell so even though the setting is off it still is forcing it to be uh, allowed in cell so let's see how LibreOffice is handling this exception so previously it did not keep it in the cell but now in 25.2 it is uh, forcing it to layout in cell Another anomaly is going to be vertically. So if we just set our horizontal to be in the center, and we'll step through the same things we did earlier. So without being layout in cell, let's jump to the top of the page. Okay, that works as expected. And if we force it to layout in the cell, so we have a surprise here. Instead of being at the top of the cell, it's actually at the top of the margin. So previously, uh, LibreOffice took it at its word and put went to the top. But now we know better, and we know that top doesn't mean top, it means top margin. And we probably won't be surprised anymore if we go to the center and find out again that nothing changes. Uh, previously we put it in the center like we, we expected it logically would be, but of course it's at the top instead. Okay, so we're seeing another inconsistency where basically everything means top. And also, page doesn't seem to mean page, it seems to mean margin instead. Okay. Alright, now let's see what happens if we do it go from top. So if we jump above negative four centimeters, so above the top margin, then not surprisingly nothing happens. since we're still laid out in cell. Okay, previously we thought we could jump up to the top of the cell, or we would be limited by the cell, and now we realize that we're actually limited by the vertical margin. If we set our wrapping to through, we'll see if vertically we also can jump up and indeed we can escape the cell with a uh, the vertical wrap through 
Okay, previously we could not handle that, but now in 25.2 we do handle a vertical escape as well. Okay, so we've seen that uh, there's a vertical aversion to jumping into the margins and that uh, anything other than top is uh, also not handled. So if you thought that layout in cell was bad, not doing it is even worse. Table split and anchor paragraphs and cells are ignored, but my talk is already long enough, so I won't demonstrate any of that today. Uh, thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know.